All right, Shalom, Shalom, Ya Sha'Allah. All right, we are the prophets in Babylon, and first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who still teach us well. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity. All right, 2021, the year of hastening. The Lord is coming, man, and we pray that this be the year that we get the hell out of this captivity, man. Right. We see prophecies popping like popcorn. All right, today, as you see, we're at the beach, man. All right, we're gonna go into a little bit of these prophecies. It's a little bit of a gloomy day out here, but we're just gonna flow in the spirit. You know, Lord willing, it's edifying to the brothers and sisters that are uh, watching, man. All right. All right, but like I said, man, 2021, 2020 was a crazy year. 2021 is about to be even crazier, all right? And we coming into a time like never before, man. All right, a time of Jacob's trouble, great trouble, great death, great destruction. A video just came out saying anybody who took the thing, they only got two years left to live, man. So <laughs> we at the end of this thing, man. We at the end of this thing. They got the chip ready. Everything's, everything's in play, man. All right, so all you people that scoffed and mocked and laughed at the prophets, you gonna die soon, man. All right, go ahead, brother. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yep, one of the main reasons the Lord is about to destroy this place is because of pride, man. All right, aside from all the wickedness, which pride is the beginning of sin. So when you have pride, that's when sin creeps in. And that's why this, this place, America, is labeled as Mystery Babylon the Great, the great whore, man. Great confusion. A great amount of sin here. It's, it's, it's like Sodom and Gomorrah on crack, man. So this place is about to be burnt to a, a crisp. But go ahead and read that again for me, Baba Kusha. Read it second, slow. Uh, second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries. It said many great miseries, man. Some of those miseries are what? Famine. You're going to have uh, uh, pestilence, which we already see that. But the real pestilence is really about to come, man. When you start seeing these people dropping dead, that's why the CDC came out with an article about prepare for a zombie apocalypse, man. Mm -hmm. You think they're just doing that just to do it? No, they letting you know something that's that's about to happen because right now Esau, being the, uh, in the ruling class today, he has control of what takes place on earth, man. Right. And this devil is not ruling righteously, man. And what he wants to do is really bring a zombie apocalypse, man. All right, which, which really goes into pestilence and uh, population control, man. All right, and they coming out and straight and let you know, man. But read that again, Ark. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. That was said in the latter times. And we are in the latter times. All right, and really the last days started when Yahweh Shai left the scene. All right, but now we are at the end of the end. All right, there are still prophecies that haven't taken place, you know, when our Lord first left the scene. We still had to wait for the mark of the beast. Oh, another thing. Someone grab Amos 8 and 11 real quick. I got that. I got well, that's that. another major prophecy that we see taking place. And I was thinking about it uh, the other day. If you can grab it when you got it, the famine of the word, man. Got it. You, you, hey, brothers getting their channels stri struck and uh, uh, left and right, their videos taken down left and right. Really, it's the Lord doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we might get aggravated, like, ah, damn, man, that was a good video. Really, the Lord saw it. He, he's proud you did your work. Call Hello, you how about Shimia was shy. But he's, he's done holding his hand out to these people. That's right. He don't want these people to hear the prophecies no more. Now, hey, now the Lord is calling for actions, man. All right? Go ahead, read that real quick. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine the land, like that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, mm. but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Yep, so the Lord said that he's going to send a famine in the land, but this famine is going to be different. It's not going to be a famine of food and water, which that's coming as well. Which that is coming as well, where you're going to go to the grocery store one day and there's going to be no more food or water on the, on the store shelves, man. But the Lord said he's going to send a famine of the word. The word famine goes into lack of. 
So you're going to have a lack of hearing the truth, a lack of hearing this word. And that's what we see happening. And then read that again real quick. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, saith the, uh, behold, the day is come, saith the Lord. Saith the, the Lord. Child. All right, that's the main part that I wanted to grab. Saith the Lord. The Lord said that he's going to send the famine of the word, man. So when your videos get taken down, you know, on a micro scale, on a small scale, it's Esau Edom being a devil. But on a macro scale, you know, on, on a big scale, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah taking these videos down, man. Because he's sending this famine of the word, man. You look, the prophets have, starting with the head elders and apostles, the great millstone from Tahar on down and their elders on down. The uh, prophets have been out here for what? 30 plus years, man. So you people have had ample opportunity to get this word. But you rejected it. So I'm going to grab Proverbs 1 real quick. Go ahead, grab that. I got that Proverbs 1. Yep, go ahead and grab it. Because you people have had ample opportunity to get this word, but you despise the truth. You despise repentance. You despise the Lord, man. That's right. And the same people that say, oh, I believe in God. I love God. God knows my heart. It's going to be the same ones out here that's going to take that thing and go and drop dead, man. Uh. You're going to meet your maker. You good. You can walk by. You good. You, and and that's, that's just really that's really what it all boils down to, man. All these people out here that took this thing and getting ready to take the thing, they're going to drop like flies, man. All right, we already see what's, what's taking place. All right, uh, go ahead and grab that real quick. Right. This is book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cries without, she uttered her voice in the streets. Mm -hmm. She cries in the chief place of concourse. Yeah. And the openings of the gates in the city, she uttered her words saying, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Right, so how long are you ignorant Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans going to love Simplicity, man. Uh, man, Jake is the most simple people on this earth right now, man. They are the most destroyed people ever, man. All right? And they love simplicity. They love being simple. Mm -hmm. You tell them what's the, the, the truth. You tell them the shit. You tell them the name of the Lord, and they're looking at you crazy now. Yep. So really, they despise wisdom, man. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures talk about how uh, uh, wisdom is really going to get us saved, man. Yep, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, man. So you people that don't got wisdom and knowledge, you're going to die, man. Point blank, period. And we're not talking about your PhD. We're not talking about your master's degree. We're not talking about none of that worldly shit. We're talking about the true knowledge and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, man. And you're not going to learn that in the Christian church. You're not going to learn that in the, uh, the Baptist church, man. You're going to learn it from the prophets on the highways and hedges. That's why it says, wisdom cries out. She uttered her voice in the streets. Right. Not in the church. Go ahead. It says, and the scorners delight in their scornering. Scorning. Scorning. Like you. Yep, and scorning. Scorning is like mocking. All right? And that's what they do, man. They scorn. They mock. They hiss. You know, they, they, they chuck their teeth and shit, man, because they really hate the truth, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. If, listen, if the prophets weren't out here, everybody would be having a, the, the time of their life. And if the prophets weren't out here, really, the end wouldn't come. Yep. And that's what these people want, man. They don't want the end to come. They love this wicked world so much that they want this world to go on forever, man. Yeah, I wish I said that. He said, um, in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Mm -hmm. you know, and then shall the end come. Yep. Well, how is that happening? The prophets. Yep. Because that, the, the gospel is what? The gospel of Yahweh. I thought of that. Like the brother said back then, the, God, the end came when Yahweh was on the scene. And then, you know, now, you know, through the prophets, you know, he, his gospel is further being pushed out throughout the earth. Yep. You know? And that's exactly what's happening. And, and what's one of the key things that helped us push this gospel? True. The internet, man. Yep. So Esau's own tool backfired on him. They had one of the, one of the one elites, uh, president, someone said, man, we, uh, uh, a big mistake was us making the uh, internet public. You know what's crazy, y'all? Uh, Psalms say that. They say the... The wicked is snared in the works of his own hands. Salah. Yep, yep, yep. So, hey, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hey, this <laughs> devil created the internet, thought it was going to be, which it is a multi-billion yep. dollar company, but at the same time, it's bringing this kingdom down, man. So, hey, Esau is snared in his own trap, man. Created the nukes. <laughs> yeah, created the nukes for what? For his own destruction, man. Con, hey, uh, if I may add, you know, scripture says, goes into, um, saying the deceiving and the deceivers are his. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Esau is just fulfilling his lot, man. Yeah. All right? I got to up real quick. Yeah, go ahead. 
Second Ezra is two and one. Thus say, uh, thus say Yahweh Shai, I brought this people out of bondage, mm -hmm. and I gave them my commandments by men servants, the prophets, mm -hmm. whom they would not hear, but despise my counsel. Ooh, and that's what happened, man. We go to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans first and foremost. Now this gospel is open to the world. We understand that the gospel is only for Israel, but like the brother brought out the scripture, the gospel must be preached in all the world, and then the end shall come. But we come to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and really it's the Lord coming with open hands, and you despise the prophets. You hate the prophets. You misuse the prophets. And that's what the scriptures say. Who despitefully misuse the prophets, man. That's what that's what these people do. So now we're now the brothers that have been in this thing for a little bit, you know, seasoned in this thing a little bit longer, even even two, three years. You start to get heartless to the society, man. Right. You start to get heartless to the uh, the scoffing and mocking. You don't care no more. Because guess what? We see that this world is finished. And anybody else that's that's trying to, oh, I can't wait for things to go back to normal. I'm going to go. Uh, you are finished. Right. You're through. There's no even getting to you anymore. We don't want to talk to you. We don't want to have a conversation with you. Because it's like talking to a brick fucking wall, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, was that it on that, brother? Yeah. I, it's just so crazy. Because yesterday... Man, I was talking to you, Jakes, man. They're so fucking bugged out, man. Their their ears and eyes are brick walls. I was trying to give them some light. And no, uh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm like, man, I'm trying to help you. But, yep. but uh, as, as Ezekiel said, you're going to know a prophet was among you. Yep. Yep. I was trying to give you light and truth, but you despised it. Hey, you know what? That's been giving me a lot of comfort recently, that scripture right there, that you shall know that a prophet have been among you. Because yep. I done brought this truth to all these people. Brothers have brought this troop to their families, to their friends, all different types of people. And they laugh, they scoff, they mock. All right, cool. When motherfuckers start dropping dead, they're going to know that a prophet had been among them. Yeah. And it's not, it's going to be you, brothers. Yeah. You're going to be that prophet. Yeah. You're going to be the guy that was out there warning the people of the things that were to come. And that's a glorious thing, man. Uh. The glorious gave, I mean, the Lord had gave us the keys to the future, man. And how, what is that? This this Bible, man. Yep. We was wicked ass niggas in this world, man. All of us. But guess what? We came out of that that bondage, that that dead estate, and we opened the Bible, man. Yep. So the Lord said that He's gonna reward His prophets, man. A prophet shall gain a prophet's reward, reward man. Ooh. Everybody's a hypocrite, you know, because yep. when, you're, when you're in the world, everybody say, "I believe in God. I believe in God." You know, they mm. believe they, they believe in Esau, man. They don't believe in the God of the Bible, you know, because they don't want to be judged for the out of the scriptures. Everyone, everybody wants to live in their own uh, wicked lust. Yep. All right, everyone is a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? You, you got your, uh, you got Jake. You know what I'm saying? Grandma, probably not forced you to read the Bible, but now you try to bring a true understanding of the Bible. Yeah. You don't want it. Yep. You know? uh, everyone right. is a hypocrite, man. Hey, that's how it is, man. I remember, you know, mom, my dad, whoever grandma I used to live with, they say if you don't go to Sunday church, they'll beat your ass. Right. They get mad at you. They, yep. they, oh boy, you got a devil on you. You got, you don't want to go to the church. What, are, what am I learning at the church? Right. That g God is a white man? Right. Mm. Come on, man. We are the church. The church, exactly. The temple, the third temple being built is the Israelites, man. Yep. Not just the Israelites, the elect of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. That's the third temple. And these devils over there in the land of Jerusalem, they trying to build an actual third temple. And the prophet's looking at y'all like y'all stupid. Because yeah. you, we the third temple, man. We're going to break that shit down. We're going to break it down, man. The, uh, uh, and Daniel it tells you that the Lord will set up a kingdom that shall not be destroyed, man. All right, and that's what that's the that's the elect. All right, the kingdom starts with a people before it's a place, man. Yep, right. Jerusalem, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. place. That's the spirit, I was just thinking that, man. Yep, I that, was thinking that too. You that, know hey, what I'm that's the spirit, spirit man. man. Hey, we got this fish keep jumping yeah, out of the water. Over I was here. gonna say that. I was just gonna say that. Russ is calling out. Hey, you know what's crazy? Man. Every time I do a video here, I'll, I'll put a video towards the, the water, or whatever. See fishes jumping, jumping, and the videos, man. And, hey, that's the spirit. The Lord is in control, man. Yep. Uh, so stuff, even. Man, and that's call all your how about should be our shot. The Lord Allah, Allah, made us Allah, Allah. spiritual men, cause we see little things like, like that, that, and we yeah. we glory at it. Glory at it. Uh, yeah, little thing, we 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 happy God. at the little thing you yeah. see. You see a bird fly, you looking at it, it's doing something crazy. God. All praises, call all your how about should be our shot. They got to see the fishes jumping like the Lord said to the, this, uh, the uh, Peter, hey, hey, uh, hey, follow me and I'll make you fishes, fishes of men. men. I'll make you yep. fishes of men. And now you know what's crazy is the fish jumping out of water, man. Fish you know, fi fishing. You gotta have patience, yep. you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah. now you see the fish. The fish they hopping out of the water. water. They hopping out of the water. They coming for the truth, man. Yep. You know? But uh, real quick, let me grab this. Uh, uh, concerning what this brother said. This is uh, Psalm 7 
and 16, his mischief shall return upon his own head, yep. mm. and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. So Esau created the nukes, which really was the Lord. The Lord yep. used Esau Edom to create the nukes, create the internet, create all this stuff, but really, He's digging his own ditch, yep. and he's about to fall in it, man. And we can't wait to see you devils fall, man. That's right. We can't wait, man. And guess what? Now, brothers and a point, in, me personally speaking as a man, I'm in a point in my walk where I'm laid back, and I'm watching all these prophecies take place, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we get antsy. We want it to take. We want it to happen today. We want it to happen today. We want it to happen now. But now I'm sitting back, and I'm relaxing and watching this thing play out, man. Because the Lord's timing is perfect, man. Yeah. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, we get it. We yeah, got to go. Like, oh, ah, fuck, man. Like, yeah. Why, why, destroy this place. Uh. And that's, that happens. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. We want this place destroyed. But when you get, you, you start growing this thing, you realize, you know what? The Lord's time is perfect, man. Uh. It's, not, I'm not, it's not on my time. It's on the Lord's time, man. It's perfect. Like, uh, like call out your how about you Shah. We literally have an opportunity to see these niggas crumble, man. Like the whole kingdom. You know what I'm saying? All this uh, beating in our backs. You know, being in our brother's back for all these hundreds of years, man. And we can finally see these devils crumble, man. From the inside, you know, the Babylon the Great, the most wicked kingdom ever erected. We're going to have the glory. That's why Psalm 91 say, only with thine eyes, so that I'll see the uh, reward of the wicked. Yep, yep. So we're going to see those. Ooh. We're going to go with them with the elect. Go with them the elect. We're going to see those nukes destroying this bitch, man. Yep. All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, the, the elect going to have a, 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 a sky view, man. Kind. A sky uh, of you. Revelation to what? Stand on the sea of glass? Stand on the yeah. sea of glass, man. A uh, brother had a testimony where he, he was in a chariot, and he said that he looked down, and the oh, chariot yeah. is just glass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Lord, you see these chariots, and they look like like ships. Some of them look like, like that new video that came out, that one look like a, a literal spaceship. Yeah. That was beautiful, man. But when you get in the chariot, it can be invisible all around. Yeah. When you're, you're just looking like you're flying. You're pretty yeah. much just flying. But people are seeing like an orb. They might see something different. But we seeing it, you know, bird's eye view, man. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful, man. We get the we, we, we Lord put a spirit on for us to get the understanding for that, man. You know? Yep. Like to know that you can you know that the most high chair is, you know, flying amongst you, man. You know what I'm saying? Or over you, man. Like, that's the spirit, man. You know? Yeah. I got, uh, you know, I got a, I got a I picture of it if you brothers like because they want to see it. The, the see it glass. Oh yeah, grab that real quick. Get that picture real quick. Right. Then we're gonna go into that con. This is just a uh, the sea of glass right here. That's what that's what the elect are going to be doing. Lord willing, where the elect, that's what they're going to be doing when they're delivered. You see the destruction. You got the sea of glass looking down to point at the fire. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold that real quick. Um, go ahead. Uh, bring this, that out. Uh, God, this uh, Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty-three. It, it says, "Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you." And that's what the Lord really did to His elect. Now, not only the elect, the, you know, He's calling his nation man but only the elect are going to you know take heed to the word go ahead i will make known my words unto you and that's what he did to us man we give all praises to how about shimmy i was shy for making these words known man hey this is a this is a hey this book right here this is a coded book you got to have the cheat codes you got to have the keys to be able to piece the puzzle Precept upon precept, line upon line. line. Yeah. This is not a, this is not your average, you know, fairy tale book that you read cover to cover. You know what I'm saying? That's why not anybody can pick it up. And that's why when people do pick it up and they try to read it and they're not called or they're not chosen, they'll bug out. They'll say, man, this is some fairy tale shit. They talking about serpents and dragons and they, they don't know what it's talking about. Nope. <laughs> All right? But we, the Lord gave us the understanding of the deep, dark mysteries and parables, man. Y'all don't got it, man. We give all praises, man. Y'all, y'all don't got it. We got it. That's right. And we pray every day, and we should be praying every day that the Lord take not that Holy Spirit from us, man. Because that's what's giving us the understanding is the Holy Spirit. And once the Holy Spirit is a, 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 a company of angels around you. Mm. All right. Uh, was that it on that? Uh, no. Verse twenty-four. Go ahead. Verse twenty-four it says, "Because I have called and ye refused." I have stretched uh, out my hand and no man regarded. Yep. Read but that again. It says, uh, verse 24, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And that's what's happening, man. The Lord is stretching out his hand by way of the prophets and no man regards, man. So guess what? Uh, Matthew 13 and 11. Come on. Come on, if I may. I, you know, you got 
vicious, man. Yeah, they keep hey, man, jumping. You know, that's, that's beautiful, man. You know, hey, and it's a spirit, man, because, you know, you know, you got Jake that they just walk right past you, man, when you're in the highways and the byways, you know what I'm saying, bringing it out, and they don't take that time to even just seek to hear what's going on, man, to try to, you know, repent for their sins, man. All right, and the Lord's only scratching his hand out for so long before he closed that, that before he pulled his, you know, his hand back, man. You know what I'm saying? And we in those times, man. And you got Jake still wanting to, you want to normalize everything to be normalized, you know, from this this thing. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna they gonna they gonna find out that, that you know, <laughs> hey, I didn't. Hey, think. hold on. You know what's funny, man? You know what's funny is that that two year video just came out uh -huh. about the thing. They said, hey, you got two years to live. Woo! Imagine if you took that thing and you come across that video. You know what they're gonna say though? They're gonna say, you know what? We got one more chance. There's one more thing. There's only one more hope. Take this chip. Oh man. Take Damn. This chip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we got you. We fucked up, but look, we got something better. It's gonna make everything better. Yeah. So hey, the Lord called, and really, the Lord is controlling all this, man. The Lord, man, the Lord is cold with it. He's gonna destroy you, people, man. He's a, he's a good finesse, boy. Yeah. Oh, hey, the, the, the ultimate finesse. 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 He the ultimate finesse, boy. He fin he finesse Esau with these nukes. Boy, I thought right. Esau think he proud of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got the biggest weapons. Let I got the, the biggest. Let the weak say I am strong. Let the weak say I am strong. Yep. Uh, uh, all these other nations, man. I, now Iran ain't, Iran ain't fucking off no more. No, they, mm. get down. they get down. They getting down, yo. And you see what's going on in uh, Israel, man. Iran and Israel going back and forth. You see that Biden just put sanctions on, on Russia. Boy, World War Three, the war jumps are are beaten, man. Mm. Second world was passed. And behold, the third world Most comes quickly, quickly, man. Ooh. Quickly, and uh, what? Time. World War Two ended what? 1940s, some shit. Time. So hey, this <laughs> quickly after, man. And that proves Revelation six and four is by Esau, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause hey, this nigga, hey, this nigga took peace from the earth, bro. This nigga been at war like 90, 98 percent of the time he was in power, man. Mm. Yo, he's the, he's the devil. Well, when we come in power, it says the nation shall no war no more. Yep. All right, they're gonna we're gonna beat their swords to plowshares, man. And that's how you know those people aren't the real people. Man. They say it ain't the real people. But why is there still war? Yeah, what yeah. war on earth? Where's the Messiah at? Yeah, yeah, where he at? Where, where, he, where the Lord be, at? He's supposed to be in Israel with y'all. Yeah, where King David at? Yeah. You see these guys, man. They, they they're frauds. They stupid. They bro. stupid. They start us. They frauds. Real quick, let me grab this. Um, when did World War II end? So World War II ended September 2nd, 1945. So it said uh, the second world is passed and behold, the third world cometh quickly. So what, 60, 70 years go by, that's when the third, hey, the third war is about to take place, man. All right, but go ahead, keep reading that. Verse 25, but ye have set at not all my counsel mm. and would none of and my reproof. Woo, and guess what, you know why? You, you brothers, you, you already know why. But you brothers watching and sisters watching, you want to know why? Read that again. But ye have said that not all my my counsel and would not of my reproof. Right, so they didn't want reproof. You want to know why? John 12 and 40. He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and I should I, and be converted and I should heal them. Mm -hmm. So the Lord did that. When, when you see a dolphin, a dolphin just just came up, man. Oh, yeah. So, hey, all different type of wildlife out here, man, today. Beautiful. Uh. But when you see these guys, hey, get that on camera. Get that on camera. Where's that? Uh, zoom in. Just zoom in over there. They're going to come up again. Lord willing. Uh, Lord willing. They out there, though. Yeah, there they go. They there they go. go. Dolphins out there, we got the fishes jumping. Hey, the spear is dealing, man. Spear is dealing. Uh, but like I was saying, when these Jakes reject the truth, yep. really it's the Lord that put the spirit on them to reject the truth. Mm -hmm. Just so the Lord can destroy your stupid ass. Uh, That's scary. Yes, it is. You know how scary that is, man? When you really understand that the Lord can the Lord, make you Lord. make you retarded <laughs> to, that, to that point where you were rejecting the yeah, truth well. and just to kill you? Shit. I get it. Can I real quick for you, bro? Con, uh, was that it on that? No, I got 20, 26. Uh, Go ahead, grab 26. Con, after says, we'll grab that. Con. I also will laugh at your calamity. Ultimate finesse. The Lord said he's going to laugh at your calamity. So when you start getting boils on your skin, 
you start getting grievous sores all over your body, you catch a hell, the Lord's gonna be up there laughing, and he's gonna be laughing by way of the prophets. We gonna be laughing at your stupid ass. That's right. And that's the spirit you should be in, man. Hey, if your mom, your dad, your brother, uncle, auntie, they took the chip, they took the thing, they threw, man. They threw. Mm -hmm. Hey, you better, hey, man, like you brothers need to be, time. you need to be a uh, uh, cold, man. Y'all brothers need to get to the point where you cold to this world. You dead to this world. All right, go ahead. I will mock when your fear cometh. And you know what's crazy? The Lord is the ultimate mocker. Yep. He, he's the creator of mocking. Mm. So he's going to mock the hell out of you. and uh, you know, and Creator of everything. He's going to mock the hell out of you in your worst way you can imagine, man. All right, go ahead. Verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish cometh upon you and you know what you know it's a key word for a whirlwind it's them chariots man yep. the lord coming back with them chariots man he gonna be zapping you niggas man Oof. he gonna be zapping you motherfucker we see been seeing and that's the beautiful thing too the lord said lift up your heads your your redemption draw off nine right, yep. mm -hmm. we've been seeing mad chariots recently man since i've been in the truth when i first came into the truth there was a chariot video every, you know, every uh, a month or so. You see a chariot. You see chariot videos every day now. Mm -hmm. You got the brother GMS Word of Life, uh, yeah, who, uh, who who upload all the chariot videos. Man, go to his channel, GMS Word of Life. All the chariot videos up there, man. I ain't never seen a chariot till I came into the truth. That's right. Yeah, uh, me neither. Me, me neither, honestly. Well, you know what? I, actually, I have. You know what's crazy that you said that is right before I came into the truth. I, I was traveling a lot. And I was, I was living in a tent, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? I was literally pitch a tent somewhere, go to the next state, pitch another tent, different, different spot. I remember I was sitting in Arizona one day on a beautiful campground, but it was pitch blackout, and the stars looked like they was closer. Mm. Like certain places when you go to like Colorado, you go to California, when it gets dark out, the stars look like they're actually closer to you. So the, the whole sky looks closer to you, which is uh, beautiful. But I was looking up, and I see a chariot. At the time, I had no idea what it was. And I was like, yo, mm. what is that? What is that? You know what's crazy? I was, with, I was with these damn Edomites, and they couldn't see it. Damn. Damn. It was right, it was flying right over. I said, yo, what is that? I was like, mm. what the hell? And they was like, what are you looking at? I don't see it. I don't see it. So the Lord really only revealed that to me at the time. And then, what, a year goes by, and I end up coming into the truth. The brother Abar had brought me the truth. Like you know, so call like how boss to me, I was shot. But just just on that note, go ahead, read that again, brother. Verse 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, mm. when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me. So pretty much you're going to call on the Lord when it's too late. That's what Jake going to do. Mm, yep. That's what Jake going to do, man. You're going to call on the Lord when it's too late. You know what? Since the brother had brought out earlier, you people hypocrites. My dad, for example, man, mm. I brought him the truth. He was one of the first people I brought the truth. I was happy as hell. You, you, you know how you yeah. get happy, you get happy, you bring yeah, yeah. it. I, I found it. I found what I was looking for. I'm gonna bring it to the family. I, they gonna get it. I know they gonna get it. Yeah, you walking, you proud as hell. You looking stupid, really. And you bring it to your, your uh, in my case, I brought it to my pop. She was looking at me crazy. Like, I, I, don't, I don't wanna hear that. I don't know, nah, 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 nah. Anyways, whatever. Year goes by, two years go by, my dad ends up in the hospital. You know what he said? He's talking about, oh, I just hope the Lord gonna keep me safe. I just hope the Lord gonna da, 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 the Lord's gonna give me. I'm looking at him like denied the Lord. you denied the Lord already. I brought you the Bible, I brought you the book, I brought you the, the scriptures say that uh uh he dwells in the volume of the book. I brought you the Lord, but you denied him. So mm -hmm. read that again. It says verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation mm -hmm. and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when the distress and anguish come upon you mm -hmm. then shall they call upon me <laughs> but i will not answer and that's what happened in the case of, of my father and not only that's just an example for what's going to happen to all these people they are going to call at the last second when they catch an utter hell when they really getting tortured by the lord they, lord help me please I love you, God. I'm sorry. The Lord gonna look look down at you and he gonna hiss his teeth at you, man. <laughs> Yo, when, yeah. he, when Esau come down with that great wrath, man. 
right? Yep. And they getting, and, and Jake getting slaughtered out here, you know, want to still be niggas and pants hanging down to the, they waist, you know. My pants hanging down, you pants know? on the ground. Jake still calling on JC, man. You know, all that Hutchinson-ness, man. God knew my heart. Yeah, going through this shit. You know? uh, what the all that woman say? She said, uh, God, 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 my man. Uh, what, 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 what are the sayings that you call it? Through. Yep. Through. They worship. They worship the nigga that prays idols and shit, yep. man. <laughs> no, nah, they worship Mary. For real. Right. Really. Yeah. And, 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 and this, that's that's just prime examples of why the Lord's gonna hit his teeth, man. That's prime example of why the Lord's gonna destroy Jake, man. You know. Yep. Including with these other nations, man. Because the Lord, he had, he had, he Lord had it, man. You know. For real. And, and, and you're going to find out sooner or later, man. Hey, on, on that, think about how you feel, how, how we feel about it. How we about we Lord? fucking had it. Yeah. How, imagine how the Lord feel. Ooh. We can't even grasp how mad the Lord is, man. Say, At all. Uh, the, the, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day. And that's why the Lord, that's why the scriptures also say that judgment goes out every morning. Yep. Woo! Because the Lord is mad with so when you don't you like in the Lord love is judgment. Yeah, and that's another thing. That when when brother, when we see judgment take place, we rejoice, man. Yep. We're not like we ball when yeah. DMX died. We ain't sad. At first you like, damn, DMX, you know, yeah, but man. then you like, yeah. that nigga was wicked. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what what the hell? Yeah, well, but guess what? And you kind of rejoice that these Israelites are in their right yeah, mind they're in now. now. They're in the spirit world. Someone grab that. Uh and Job. Uh, the, sp uh, the spirit returneth back to him who created it. That's what happens, man. That's what happens when someone dies. The spirit goes to the father. To the father, man. Yeah. All right, you got it. Jake got that uh, bullshit philosophy. You know, you died and go to limbo. Yeah. That's all bullshit. You got man. it. Uh, this is Job chapter three. I'm gonna start at seventeen. There the wicked cease from troubling. Mm. There the wicked cease from troubling. So even a wicked ass Negro, when he dies, you know what I'm saying. He's going to cease from the trouble of being on this wicked-ass earth, man. Go ahead. And there the weary be at rest. Yep. There the prisoners rest together. Mm -hmm. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. Yep. Mm. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Mm. Woo. Con, that, that, that was, that's, that's, that's one. That's one I'm, I think, uh, keep reading. Might, that might be it. Um, yeah, go ahead. Wherefore is light given to him that is in misery and life unto oh, the bitter and soul. Sure. Real quick. Uh oh, here it is. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the That was a beautiful precept, though. I was in the spirit. God. So you see what happens when you die, really you go, you go to the spirit realm, you're at peace. You, you don't go, there's no hell underground, man. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna burn for eternity and eternity and turn. That's bullshit. Ecclesiastes say that. Uh, I see judge. I see the place of judgment under the sun. Under the sun. So really, when you are on earth, you playing out your judgment. Shit. Every single day is uh, whether you your car dies, whether you lose your job, whether you lose your house, your mom, all that. That's a form of judgment. Really, the Lord judging you. That's hell, man. What, what, this crazy. is hell. You know what I'm saying? It, and it's beautiful because the Lord is gonna deliver His men from the ultimate judgment. Mm. So we catching little judgment here and there because it's well deserved. We was wicked as hell. It's deserved when you catch judgment. It, you, you shouldn't be like some strange thing happened unto you <laughs> when chastening happens. Like, oh my God, why? You should know it was wicked. You, you deserved it. You lucky the Lord didn't take you out. Yep. All right, you got that Job again. Yeah. If you can grab that, read that again because that was that was the spirit, man. It's also a verse in Job was like, uh, whoever perish being innocent. Whoever perish mm. being innocent. Right. Nobody, man. Nobody, even these eight, eight you y'all brother saw that video of the 13 year old Jake running from the cops, put his hand up oh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Put his hand up. He looked like it was a northern kingdom, brother. Could, yeah, could, like could be uh, uh he's definitely an Israelite. 13 year old. 13 year old. Put his hands up. The damn devil shot his ass, man. Yeah. 
That's why we but guess what? But guess what? At the end of the day, that 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 young man, he didn't die innocent, man. Yep. The Lord ultimately pulled his card, man. Yep. Now in that in that scenario, he could have been, you know, obviously he could have been spared. But at the end of the day, it's the Lord. Lord. Yep. The Lord did it. Lord called. The Lord called. Hey, he he's gonna use these devils to rile up on you, you you Jakes, man. Mm -hmm. All right. But go ahead, read that. Job three and seventeen. There the wicked cease from troubling, mm. and there the weary be at rest. There the prisoners rest together, they hear not the voice of the oppressor. The so they hear not the voice of the oppressor, man. So when you die, when DMX died, he went to the spiritual realm, man. He was happy. He was happy. He's in peace now. He knows he's an Israelite. He knows he's about to be a king. He knows that he's a real Jew. Mm. He knows he knows the truth. He knows that the, the Lord's name is Yahweh. He knows that uh, uh, the Messiah's name is Yahweh Shai. He's at peace. Now he's looking to heaven, looking down at his family like, damn, mm. they they going through it. Mm. You know? Go ahead, brother. Verse 19, the small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Mm. The servant is free from his master, man. And that's exactly what it is, man. You get, you get free. Really, when you die, you go to the spiritual realm, you get free from these chains of darkness, man. All right? That's why the scriptures talk about... Um, it's a precious thing in the sight of the Lord, the death of his saints. Yep. Mm. You know, really death is nothing but a sting. That's why, I'm, uh, can you grab that, the sting of death in Corinthians? All right, the sting of death. That's all it is, is a, a sting. I believe it's 14. Uh, it's, uh, it's the 15th chapter. 15, yep. Bunch of new bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, that's what it is. When you get free from this chains of darkness, you go to the spiritual realm. Mm. All right, now real quick, Ecclesiastes... What was it, 12 and 7, I think I said? You want this right here? 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 55? Yeah, hold on one second. Yeah. Uh, yep. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Mm. So when someone dies, your body, you know, decomposes into the earth, man. Because Adam was created out of the dust of the earth, man. Mm. And that's really all we created out of is elements. When you go into the dust of the earth, it's really all different types of elements that the Lord created you with. You know, water, all this stuff is within us. Fire, that spirit, all this stuff is within uh, us, man. All right? It says, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. Woo. So when you die, the spirit goes to the spiritual realm. You don't go to hell, you don't go to not. The place of judgment is under the sun, man. All right? The place of judgment is under the sun, man. Um, go ahead and grab that, what you have. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 55. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Mm. Oh, oh, grave. Now, Paul said, oh, death, where is thy sting? Y'all brothers ever been stung by a bee or something? God, I was mm -hmm. just thinking of that, man. It's a uh, instant. It, it feels, it sucks. It's instant. It's yeah. instant, but then after... It's gone. Yeah. That's what Paul was comparing. And Paul died. Paul was stoned to death and he went to the spiritual realm and the Lord put his spirit back in his body. That's so crazy. So the Lord, Paul actually experienced death without actually dying, you know, as Paul. He died, went to the spiritual realm mm. and came back down. So when he said the sting of death, he was literally explaining death. That is nothing but a sting, man. So that when, when the time comes, brothers, and they really coming down with it, don't be, don't fear this devil. It's like an ouch. Fuck it. Fuck it. it, it ooh. Yeah. And then you good. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, ah. Yeah. Done. Nah. That's it. Uh, but you know, they try to, they try to get you. They try to get you. Yeah. What uh, they, they like? What is the word I'm looking for? They uh anticipated or whatever. They try to make it like it's, it, it's something that's really not, man. Try to make it seem like death sucks. Death is a beautiful thing, man. Yep. When you yep. really look at it, you yep. know, death is a beautiful thing. I got Con. Especially in these times, man. Con, go ahead, read that. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse uh, 55. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Mm. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Yep, so the sting of death is sin. So that's why we need to be free from these chains of darkness, man. Because these bodies are susceptible to sin. That's why we constantly go off. You might have... Scriptures talk about a, even if you have a, a wicked thought, that's sin, man. Yeah, it's on. So, you know how much wicked thoughts go through my mind uh, daily? You just like, God damn, what fuck, the fuck you know was that? 
And really what it is is a, a demon, demon, man. Yep. A demon, uh, and really the Lord sent it, man. And that's 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 another thing. That's scary, man. Mm. That's scary right there, man. I got something to add real quick. That's why we're prisoners of hope. Yep, yep. yep. We hope to be that hopeful elect. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, uh, I got to add um, Matthew 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, mm. but are not able to kill the soul. Yep, right. so read that again, brother. Matthew 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Real quick, what color are those letters? Red. Red letters. Yeah. Who said that? Yeah, how was Shah said that, man. Our Lord and Savior, he said, hey, don't, don't fear death. Don't fear them that can kill the body. And trust and believe Esau, gonna, he's coming with it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And brothers... If you in this truth, you are on the red list. Mm -hmm. you, you you have a, a telescope on your ass by these elites, man. When fucking Rothschild goes to bed, boy, he probably watching too hard, man. You know, he watching. He wa Hey, these devils know, man. They know. All right? Go ahead. But rather fear him, which is able to destroy the, both body and... Well, Salakia. But rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yep, and hell is a condition on earth, man. All right, and really, <laughs> really the whole world is in hell right now. Besides, unless you're an elite. Unless you're an elite, you the elites are living in a heaven. Even the everyday Edomite is in hell. Uh. They catching hell now. Now, obviously, Jake, we catching hell. We catching hell the most. But now it's to the point where these devils are catching hell. The trees catching hell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The sky, look at the sky, yo, catching hell. Camp trail. Camp, this is hell, man. Right now, hell has, has, is on earth, man. Yeah. All right, just like heaven's going to be on earth. Mm -hmm. All right, the Lord said that until thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as, as it is in heaven. On, on earth as it is in heaven. So mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven's coming on earth. What does that mean hell is? Hell is on earth. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that it on that? It said, "Fear them which don't fear them that can kill the body, man. Because all it is really is a sting, man. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. You know. He gonna come with it. He might uh, take out your. Fa he might. He might take out a family member. Nah, nah. He saw might take out a family member. Try to um. If you ever watch these interrogations, huh. like these uh, uh CIA movies and stuff, how they like interrogate a family member and stuff. Yep. Try to get you to crack. They gonna do stuff like that. But yeah. It is what it is, man. Hey, yep. you, you know, that's the spirit because uh, a brother in our camp, uh, he had a dream, a short testimony, you know, briefly give it to you. The brother said that he was in the interrogation room and he said they were trying to get him to uh, pretty much, uh, 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 you know, convert into what they were trying to get him to persuade him with. Oh. And they said he had uh, show him pictures of the, this animal they used, was, I believe it was a gorilla or a monkey. Yeah, a monkey. And he said that that the monkey was known for ripping the people's face apart. <laughs> and he said they put that, they said they put the pictures in there, it was like, either you gonna tell us or this is gonna happen to you. Mm -hmm. And he said, they called the monkey in there and he was looking at the monkey, the monkey was looking at him and he was like, you know, pretty much the monkey was gonna do what he do. And he said, all of a sudden the monkey hit him and he hit the wall and he got up and him and the brother that was uh, with him, they started whooping that monkey ass, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, and that's just, you know, a short is, is example of how Esau is going to use, you know, uh, interrogation tactics against us, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord might, you know what I'm saying, put that spirit on you, man. You might not even have to go through that, man. Yep. But just the spirit of knowing that that's a possibility that, you know, that could, that could happen. And, 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 you know, you could be delivered out of that, And that's man. why, brothers, you brothers, man, all you brothers, especially you newer brothers, y'all got to get it in your mind that your family is going to turn on you, man. Uh, Stop having that. For instance... When we was in the world, we used to have that false sense of security that everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. But we see the world today. Yep. It's not all right. Now, when new brothers that come into this truth, they put up a false sense of security for their family, man. Which, understandable, you love your family, you love your dad, your mom, your, your sister, whatever. But if they don't get this truth, they are going to turn on you. Mm. They, go, they are going to sell you out. Get that in your mind. Really, don't be that, don't be that Jake. No, man, my mom different. Yep. My dad different. My dad wouldn't do that. Fuck these people, man. Trust me. <laughs> it's the Lord. The Lord is the one who puts the spirits on people, man. You can't. Yep. You, your mom can be the nicest woman in the world. Mm -hmm. She can cook the best food ever. Mm -hmm. If she don't get this truth, the Lord is going to put a spirit on her to sell your ass out, man. 
And that's just how, how simple it is, man. Alright, All right, that's why uh grab Revelation real quick. Three and ten. Right. The Lord said that He's gonna keep you from the hour of temptation. Mm -hmm. So you really need the Lord to be kept from that hour of temptation. You can't just anybody can say, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. If the Lord puts a, de a heavy ass demon on you to take it, you're going to take it. That demon's gonna grab your ass and fucking walk you to the fucking thing, hold your <laughs> hand up there and fucking choo, and the demon go flee. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I yeah, did my yeah. job. Yeah. All right. You got that? Uh, read that real quick. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation, mm. which shall come upon all the world to try them mm. that dwell upon the earth. Yep, and it said, I. Meaning the Lord said that. The Lord said, I will keep you from the hour of temptation because you have kept the word of my patience. Mm -hmm. And we pray that we be those men. Right. Everybody else, the Lord is going to try everybody on earth first and foremost. Everybody else is going to fail the test mm -hmm. because the Lord is going to put them demons on them to make these people fail that test. And they're going to take the thing. They're going to take the, the, uh, the, the uh, MOB. All right? Precepts? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, this is... Mark 13 and verse 11. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought before him what ye shall speak. Mm. Neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that lot in that hour that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Spirit. Mm. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father, the son, and children shall rise up against their parents and mm. shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated for all men <laughs> for my name's sake. You see that, man? My precept. Including your family, man. Your brother's gonna deliver you up. Your mom gonna deliver you up. Your father gonna deliver you up. That's reality. That's reality, and that's ultimately what you brother signed up for, man. Yep. So you and really when you think about it, the Lord signed the Lord your ass up. The it, Lord yeah. signed you up for it before you signed up for it. <laughs> so yeah, he, you're gonna go through this. And that extra contract with uh, 1 Corinthians 11. Yep, 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 yep. So, hey, the Lord is in control of all things, man. Real quick, Luke 14 and verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children mm. and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Mm. Simple. Mm. Now, when it says, obviously the scriptures say, honor thy mother and father, but in your mind, you're ready to forsake these people, man, if they're not with the truth, man. Now, if your mama asks you, hey, take the garbage out, you do what you do. You take the garbage out, you respect your mom, you respect your dad. I don't mean you just blatantly, you know, literally hate these people, you know, but you are in your mind, you're ready to forsake all that. I'm going my way, mama, you go your way, and your way is going to lead to death. That's it. And you accept it. You keep moving because if you don't accept it now, you're gonna have to later, and it's gonna be much harder later. John, I got right? something liking unto that. This is Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. It says, And everyone that have forsaken houses, mm. or brethren, or sisters, mm. or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold. You see that, brothers? Damn. The Lord's gonna bless you with a new family. Mm. Which he really already did if you came into this truth. You got that's why the Lord gave you a brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Alright? But the Lord said if you forsake houses, father, mother, brother, all that. Mm -hmm. Which we we have done, man. We forsook all this shit. And the Lord said that he's gonna give you a hundredfold, man. A which hundred really fold. is just infinite. Mm. An infinite fold. A complete number of whatever you want. Uh, How much women you want? You said what? Five hundred thousand? Alright, check. How much planet you want? Alright, check. The Lord, hey, the scriptures talk about how in the kingdom, the Lord is going to answer your prayer before you even you ask for you it. Because you, you know your mind. Yep. You're already, you you're already going to get it. You want that? It's, all right, there it is. You want that? Boop. Just like that. And really, you're going to have the spiritual power to yep. snap your fingers. It's there. Yep. All right. It says, uh, shall receive a hundredfold mm. and shall inherit everlasting life. Hey, and you know, that's the spirit because I did a testimony. Uh, you know, short testimony on my vision that I had, you know, about family portrayal, and that leading to, you know, you know, hey man, by forsaking these things, all uh, your family and, and your loved ones, man, the Lord is the only one that can give you these things back, man, mm -hmm. and more. Your family can't offer you everlasting life, 
Right, right. You, 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 you're not going to get a hundredfold from protecting your mama from that time, man. Only the Lord can give you these things, man. Yep. All right? And you, you got to look at it. And the Lord's the only one giving you the opportunity of salvation. And you got to have the spirit of that uh, that mother and that and those seven children in the Maccabees. Yep. She was there and watched her children die. So when your mama on the, on the fucking thing and they about to off her ass, yep. and you, no, you, just, you die for her, you done. <laughs> you out of there. You lost your crown. All right? But if you, you gotta, hey, you gotta, that's why I tell your brother, you gotta be cold, man. If they saying they got your mom right here, I'm about to fucking kill this bitch. I'm fuck yeah. If you don't take this, I'm gonna kill this bitch. That's you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta be gotta hard go. as a rock. All right, do what you gotta do. Just like what the woman did in the Maccabees. She didn't, she didn't, she told her. And that was about some pork, bro. You, you, you can you gra grab that scripture? If you, if you know where it's at, it's in the uh, Maccabees, if you can find it. And that's crazy. Here, you can use my phone. Search it up. That's crazy. Me and the brothers uh, were just talking about this, man. We were literally just talking about if your mother, you know, be sitting there screaming your name, please, please help me up. And she's screaming your name, and the Lord telling you to go this way, you know, and, and Esau talking about blowing you, blowing her brains out. You you in the predicament if you don't have the spirit to, re you know, reject them now. And that day when that comes, you might make the wrong decision, and that might be your last, like the brother was saying. Yeah. Cause you gonna try to save your mom, and you end up dying with her, and that was your that was your opportunity. If seven. you just took the right step, you seven. could have had salvation, man. Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? And that that's why you know Scripture says, if I can grab it right quick, yeah. Matthew uh, chapter 16 verse 25 says, for it says, for whosoever will save his life shall mm -hmm. lose it. Yeah, and that's what these people out here doing, man. They trying to save their life. Mm -hmm. So really, that in turn, that's gonna end up them losing their life, man. Yup, and if you involve yourself in that predicament, the Lord's gonna take you out too. Yep. I yep. believe there's a scripture on that too, man. It's kind of mine, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it out, Lord, Lord willing. Mm -hmm. But hey, you jumping into that situation and, and trying to you know, help them save their life, man, the Lord will take you out too, man. Mm -hmm. yep. That's why I said, and whosoever will lose his life for my name's sake shall find it. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's what we doing. What's, what's us a form of doing that right now is one, we forsook this world. Now you see us, we don't do the things we used to do. And two, we not taking this thing, man. That's right. We, hey, we're ready to lose our life behind this thing, man. Okay. Especially the MOV, when that thing coming, and they already saying that they linking the two together now. All right, just as the prophets have said, man, starting with the head of elders, man. Yep. All right, get that uh, Maccabees real quick. It's the book of Second Maccabees. Seven and verse one. Cause this is the spirit we're supposed to be in, man. If they if they take your mama, your sister up, and they got a shotgun to her head, and they say, "Yeah, you gonna take this thing? I'm gonna blow your I'm gonna blow your kid's head off. Mm. I'm hey, you better take this. Down. I'm gonna blow your mama head off right here in front of you. This is the spirit you should be in. Go ahead. And it came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken mm. and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. To taste swine's or bacon. So what they had is a piece of bacon in front of this woman and her seven children. They say, you're going to eat this bacon. Esau, now, man. Now, we can, we can Shit, equate ass. this to the chip. All right, so this swine, this put it- This is bacon, it, bro. This is bacon. And you know how much integrity this woman had yeah. to not, she niggas bacon. nowadays, but hey, but I'm bacon, gonna bacon. I'm going I'm to eat that bacon. For my life, my kids, I'm eating that bacon. They eat bacon regularly. Right. So this woman, First of all, she's one of the elect ladies, huh. and she's back on earth today. All right, and her her sons, they're, they're one of the elect. elect. Yep. All right, because they kept their integrity, man. Fuck that. And this is a woman that you women need to look up to. Yep. Read that again, brother. Second Maccabees chapter seven to verse one. It came to pass also that seven brethren, with their mother, were taken hmm. and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. Yeah, because we all, us brothers know that it's against the law of the Bible mm -hmm. to eat swine. Yep, it's yep, against yep, the law to take that chip too. Yep, against the law to take that It's against the law to cut your flesh in mm -hmm. any way. So mm -hmm. you got to have integrity, man. That's and that. the word integrity go, goes into doing what's right when nobody's looking, man. Because at the end of the day, how about Shemiah is looking, man? That's right. Yep. Go ahead. And we're tormented with scourges and whips. Tormented. So they talk, they say, you're going to eat this, you're going to eat this bacon. And they started, they got started tormenting them. Go ahead. But one of them that speak first said thus, what wouldst thou ask or learn of us? 
we are ready to die rather than to trespass the laws. Trust grants, Salakia, we start from the top again. But one of them that spake first and said thus, what wouldst thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. Ooh, that's the spirit you brothers got to have, man. These young men were ready to die than to tr eat that bacon, than to transgress the laws of the Most High, man. Go ahead. Fine. Then the king, being a raised commanded with pans and cauldron to be made hot. Ooh, so they got pans and pots, and they made them extremely hot. Go ahead. Which forthwith being heated, he commanded to cut off the tongue of him that spake first, and to cut off the utmost parts of his body, mm. and the rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. So, fucking now there's six brothers. Mm. One of the brothers was just dismangled, bodies chopped up, and tossed into a fucking pot. The tongue was chopped out first. So the mom and the six brothers watching this happen. This is how you gotta be. This is what's coming. Go ahead. And you know Jake, Jake got big family, yeah. man. Yeah. Yep. You know how hard you know how hard it is? To watch your fucking a, a mom as a mother to watch, watch her son. six sons get tortured and die. But guess what? They gain their crown. You know mother is, you know, they you gain their crown. You ever, you ever uh, watch uh, these fucking hood movies? And um, Jake mom, Jake gets shot. Mama, my baby! Mama, my baby. screaming and yeah, shit. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I can only really imagine how this woman felt, man. Yep. Yeah. That's why we gonna fuck you that was up in the kingdom, man. Yeah. Cause he gonna come back and we gonna put our foot in his ass, man. Yep, yeah. go ahead. Now, when he was thus maimed and all his members, he commanded him being yet alive to be brought to the fire. Ooh, so he was still alive. This brother had his body parts chopped up, still alive. And they commanded that his body be brought to the fire, to be burnt to death, after mm. his tongue is out of his mouth. Go ahead. And to be fried in the pan, and as the vapor of the pan was for a good place dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, saying thus. Go ahead. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shemai, was shot, look upon us, mm. and in truth hath comforted us. Say, hey, Whoa. so really the, the Lord, Lord comforted, comforted them. them. Yep. Through that, he probably didn't even feel it. So, brothers that do got to get beheaded for this truth, you will be comforted. That's right. And it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. And you're going to be in a chariot. You're going to sit that wine with the Lord. You're going to be good. God. But the, the the whole point of the story is if you're in that line and you see motherfuckers getting their head chopped off, head chopped off, heads rolling, the Lord is going to put a spirit on you to be comforted. Uh -huh. You're going to, it's going to be beyond this world. You're not, it's going to be a feeling you probably have never felt before. Because it's gonna be that real. The Lord's gonna put that spirit on you. We're just gonna be like, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Go ahead. The Lord Yahweh Bashimi Awashalak upon us, and in truth hath comfort in us. Mm. As Moses in his song, which witnessed to their faces, declared, saying, And he shall be comforted com to in his servants. Mm. So when the first was dead after this number, they brought the second to make him a mocking stock. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head, with the hair, they asked, Will thou eat before thou be punished throughout every minute of thy body? So what Esau did was he, he uh skint this brother mm. through the head of it. He skint them and put he basically like a, like like all you can see was his muscles, his face, you know? And then he asked him, Well you gonna eat are you going are you not are you still not gonna eat the pork? Well motherfucker, you already pulled his skin off his face. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? This nigga yet yeah, pulled the skin off his face and asked, Are you are you still not gonna eat it? That's a devil. That, man. That, that's the hey man. Hey, you know what? It's lucky. You see that you see that same devil today putting these same tactics in movies, man. Yeah. You know what they're not just they do it in real life. Yeah, yeah, in real life. This is what they do. You might have somebody like a drug lord or something. They really beat the shit out of these motherfuckers. If they get caught, they will beat the hell out of you in these integration rooms, man. To the point where they they'll kill you, they'll off you, man. Alright? They didn't say you got shot or some shit. Yep. It's the hey, this the devil we dealing with. That's why we gotta stand the truth, man. All right, we need to be delivered from this nigga, man. This nigga's uh, a psychopath. Hey, you know what they you got? You got to be a devil to do some shit like this, bro. Yeah, I saw, I had saw a movie. I forgot what the movie is, but they had brought this guy to the integration room, and they put a rag. He was tied up on a chair, mm. and they put a rag over his face, right? Put water. And they put water on it. A whole gallon of water. You you can drown like that. I know. Y'all brothers ever? Uh, you in the shower? Y'all ever yeah. been in the shower? Just filled it up with water. Just put up. Yeah. You can't breathe. You can drown like that. All right? 
Go ahead, brother. All right. But he answered in his own language and said no, the Hebrew. He answered in the Hebrew. So he said la'a. All right. La'a. He All answered. Right, so after he just saw his brother die, he still said, no, nah, I ain't going to eat that swine. Fine. Go ahead. But he answered in his own language and said no. Wherefore, he also received the, the next torment order as the former did. Hmm. And when he was at the last gas, he said thou like a... So they, so after they skinned him, they did the same thing that they did to the first brother. Started dismantling him and frying him up. Go ahead. And when he was at the last gasp, he said, Thou like a fury task takest, thou like a, like a fury takest us out of this present life. Hmm. For the king of the world shall raise us up who have died for his loss into everlasting life. Yahweh shot. Yeah, yeah so hey, he's really, he was, he was at his last gasp yeah. and he was really praising the yeah, Lord. Bro. Yeah. He said he was really he was really laughing at these devils. Like, man, I'm going to the spiritual realm. I ain't got y'all. Hey, y'all gonna get yours. <laughs> you gonna get yours. Go ahead. After him was the third made a mocking stock, and when he was required, he put out his tongue. So this nigga put out oh, his so the Go brother ahead, put out it. his tongue, man. Read it, read it. That's right. hey, that right there, man. After you see your two brothers die, you know what? You had the one brother come up. He said, "Come on, I'm next." Mm. Held his tongue out just like that. Let's go. Just like that. He was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go ahead, read it again. All right. And after him was the third made a mocking stock, and when he was required, he put out his tongue, and that right soon, holding forth his hands manfully. So he put out his hands and his tongue. Mm -hmm. you know, so this king, this nigga, the king, all right, he taking the down, he taking them out one by one. It's not like he's having mercy and saying, we're going to execute all y'all at the same time. He's letting the family member watch. If he's letting the, uh, the mother watch her sons being tortured. Mm. This nigga, man. All right, and said courageously, "These I had from heaven." So mm. he held his hands out, Lord and he Lord. said courageously, meaning the spirit really came upon him. He said, "Look, I got these from heaven, mm. because really, you have a heavenly body too, man. You have a heavenly body." All right, go ahead. These I have from heaven, and for His laws I despise them, mm. and yes, from Him so. I hope to receive them again. Ooh. So he like, "Shit, I'm gonna get yeah. it again. I'm That's gonna get it again." And he said, for, for, for what they're trying to do to me, hey, I despise them, man. Go ahead, cut them off. Mm. Cut them off. I ain't, I ain't taking it. Go ahead. And so much that the king and they that were with him marveled at the young man's curse. So he was a young man. Probably was like 13, 12. 13, 12. A young man, okay? The, uh, I'm starting from the top. And so much that the king and they that were with him marveled at the young man's courage for that he nothing regarded the pains. Ooh, probably even feel it, man. Probably, yeah, probably the Lord probably took the pain off him, but nah. even 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 when he was going through it, he was he was standing firm. He, his countenance was just like probably, you know, biting yeah. your jaw, like you know what I'm saying? You see the you just taking it. Mad as fuck. Mad as hell. And this is what we gotta prepare for, brothers. This is the spirit we gotta be in, man. Nah. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, that happened, you know, like uh what to say, things written the fourth time written for our learning. Mm. Now when this man was there also they tormented and mangled the fourth in like manner. Mm. So when he was ready to die, he said, Thus it is good, being put to death by men, to look for hope from Yahweh by Shem Shah. So you mm. see how each one of these brothers got a spiritual message Fine. right before they coming out? Mm. They letting you know. Read that again. So when he was ready to die, he said, Thus it is good, being put to death by men, to look for hope from Yahweh, mm. to be raised up again by him. Woo, that's why the scriptures say what? Precious is the death of the, uh, uh, and, and the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, man. Right. Go ahead. As for thee, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. Thou shalt have no resurrection. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. You through Esau? Esau finished, man. And he know it too, man. It's your last two raw, man. Yeah. So have fun, live it up, cause we got next, man, and we got it for eternity, man. Yeah, we gonna do this to you. Yep. All right, nigga, we gonna do this to you, man. Yep. Afterward, they brought the fifth also and mangled him. Then looked he unto the king and said, Thou hast power over men, thou art corruptible. Mm. Thou doest what thou wilt, yet think not that our nation is forsaken of Yahweh. So Ooh. the Israelites, he said, Hey, think, our na think not our nation is forsaken by the Heavenly Father. All right, because what, what um, who was this, the Greeks? Yeah, the no, Maccabees? Yeah, the Maccabees, yep, yep, yep. Yep, so hey, hey, look. Hey, because they had power over our, he saw had power over our people in this time period. All right, so he said, Hey, think it not. That the, the, the heavenly father forsake uh, the Israelites. Hey, should say that? 
You know, God. he forsaken not his saints. Yep. And yep. you know, and that's the spirit, man, because Esau in that same mind frame today, man. Yep. You know, and when Esau coming come down with that great wrath, man, Esau's gonna be doing his bit. You know, he's gonna be doing what he's doing. And Esau thinks he's not gonna get, you know, Esau, Esau thinks he's gonna get away with it, man. Yep. All right. Whole time Lord sees these things, and Lord, Lord, Lord gonna bring that judgment, man. Yep. Lord gonna bring that judgment. Just when they think that it, 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 that they safe, man. Lord gonna he gonna he gonna show man he gonna show why you should have feared y'all about shot from yeah. the get go man. That's right. Go ahead. Then I'm gonna start from the top. Then looked he unto the king and said, Thou hast power over men, thou art corruptible. Thou doest what thou wilt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yet mm -hmm. think not that our nation is forsaken of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. <laughs> but abide a while and behold his great power, how he will tor thee, how, how he will torment thee and thy seed. Woo! Yes, so sir. he said, do what you gotta do. Cause you gonna be fucking destroyed. Your seed gonna be destroyed. Right. Man, that these brothers were in the spirit, man. Right. Mm -hmm. And they back on earth. And they they prophesying, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. After him also they brought forth. And really what he did was he prophesied right there. Yep. He just prophesied. He just prophesied. He saying his teeth, hey, hey, call it out so that was a side. prophet. Mm -hmm. He was a prophet. That was a prophet. And it was a young man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He, yeah, yep. He did prophesy. Yep. Say the end I see are gonna be tormented. Yep. In the kingdom of heaven. That's a prophecy, man. After him also they brought the six, who being ready to die said, Be not deceived without cause, for we suffer these things for ourselves, mm -hmm. having sinned against our having sinned against our power. The sting of sin is death. Yep. Mm -hmm. So these brothers knew, man, they had to pay the price, man. Yep. They knew. That's how we gotta be, man. That's how we gotta be, man. Hey, we fall short, man. We ain't perfect. If we gotta die, we gotta die, man. We gotta bite the bullet, man. We fell short, man. Hey, so All right. The scripture said we were bought with a price, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were yeah. bought with a price, man. Hey, we in debt. Hey, exactly. Right. We, we in we're debt. We're the biggest debt, man. Yeah, yeah. We can never pay you know that debt off. Yeah. You know? hey. Just like Esau can't pay his debt off. Esau yep. can't pay his debt off. Yep. yep. So, hey, just like how we got to accept, you know, that steam, man, Esau going to have to accept his steam, too, boy. Yep, yep. Hey. He gonna get stung a lot of times. He gonna get stung <laughs> twice as hard. Hey, you know how a bee sting, uh, he sting one time, and he's like, all right, he died his own, you know, as it go. Hey, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna have them, orders, we gonna walls. have them fucking uh, uh, murder hornets yeah, right yeah. now, boy. <laughs> we gonna have them murder hornets come for you, boy. You gonna get multiple times. Man, you finished, man. Esau finished. Go ahead, brother. All right. But think not thou that takest a hand to strive against you. How about Shemal Shai? Mm. That thou shalt escape unpunished. Mm. Well, he prophesied again. Yep. He just said, hey, the, the, the other brother prophesied, say, hey, you're not gonna be unpunished. Proverbs 15, uh, that's Proverbs. Though hand join the hand, the, the wicked shall not be unpunished. unpunished. Yep. Huh. Yep. Yep. So you gonna get it, nigga. Yep. All right. And I call you a nigga because you're the real nigga. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, Second Maccabees chapter two and verse twenty. But the mother, mother was marvelous. Hey, you know what's all. crazy too, though? What? One of the curses in uh, in uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight was to have by words and proverbs put on us. Mm -hmm. We gonna have funny ass by words There's and proverbs put for on these Edomites. Right, <laughs> we don't even know what they are yet. Yep. So we're going to be saying it in Hebrew. We're going to be making fun of these damn whatever. <laughs> and, 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 and our pure language, man. They're going to have by words and proverbs, it's man. That those seven brothers, too. Yep. It's completion. Completion, right? Go ahead. They say, but the mother was marvelous above all. So this woman Ooh. had integrity. Yep. And worthy of honorable memory. Yep. Mm. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, mm. she bared with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord. So this, this lady saw her seven sons die, and she died with integrity. Wow. This woman is going to be in the kingdom of heaven as one of the elect ladies. She will gain salvation. She's going to get, you know, what she needs to gain salvation. She's back on earth. And other women in the kingdom are going to look up to this woman, man. Mm. All right? So that's another thing. We always go into the praise of the elect man because it starts with the elect man. Never know who this woman is in the but spirit. But exactly. You're going to have elect ladies too where the women are going to be looking up to these certain individual ladies, man. Mm. All right? So the, the women going to get glory too. It's not going to be like the men, but they will be, you know what I'm saying, part of the, they're going to be numbered amongst the elect, they, man. They're they going to have their portion. Yep. yep. Real hey, quick, know, real quick. Can I add to that? Yeah, go ahead. That's the spirit because, you know, she watched all her sons, all her seven sons die, all right, all giving, you know, glory and honor to see how about Shemal Shai. And it all came back down to the scriptures, which is the scriptures are comforting, man, yep. of our Lord, man. 
And you know, it's like laws and statute commandments, you know, was put within us, man. Mm. So these things like give us comfort in, in the times of, you know, facing death, man. Knowing we all know how we went off and know how we, you know, we, we are wicked as hell, man. And that we have to accept those things. She watched all seven of her sons, all right, down to her. And they all have faith, man. I'm going to yep. say this. I'm going to say all this. All have faith. Yep. I'm going to say this. No other nation can do what these these, these eight people did, right? These eight Israelites done, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you were a heathen nation, you would have ate that damn pork, man. Quick. <laughs> Esau would have ate hell. that pork, man. Esau would have right? ate that pork. Boy. We're the strongest people on the face of the earth, man. We, we're, 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 uh... We're built with faith. You know what's crazy? You know? Is they pro Esau did eat that pork probably Esau after that. After, after nigga, they killed him all, fuck it, pork. they ain't gonna eat it. I eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. That'd be funny as fuck if that actually happened, bro. For real, that crazy for real. Fuck, bro. I, I can see it. I can, I can see, see it, it too. Bro. You know what I'm saying? It's we don't probably, know. It don't say it, but he's probably. That's nigga Esau, probably man. Some fucking cannibalism or some shit. For real, Esau nasty. It's the devil, bro. Esau a vile beast, man. And Job say that. Job thirty and eight. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they were children in the basement. They were viler than the earth. Viler than the earth. Job said he keep his dogs away from them, man. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 hey, Esau will rape your dog, yeah, man. Yeah, beast the up, yep. man. These motherfuckers is weird, man. <laughs> Esau will take your damn dog, man. Can't yeah. Be related to this motherfucker. Yeah. For real, yo. <laughs> nigga let the dog lick it in his mouth. Nasty no, that hell, was, man. man, listen. He the fucking devil, man. Devil. Yeah, I, I had a video. I, I edited a video. I, that video your brother saw that woman. I'm getting a mouth up. Yeah, man. I saw that video. It was just a regular like video. I created freak, that because I saw it. I said, no way she doing this right now. Wild, not even regular dogs. These were like fucking wolves. Wild wolves. Yeah. Wild so they just wolves, got, they got yeah. done eating fucking whatever. And this bitch over here, a mouth like ass. this. Oh, <laughs> Licking this, this dog, man. Nasty as hell, man. A wolf, man. A wolf, right. Oh, uh, was that it on that? Not some more. Go ahead. Yeah, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, mm. filled with courageous spirits. So, mm. spirit was on her. Spirit was on her, yeah. And stirring up her womanish thoughts with the manly stomach, she said unto them, Whoa, whoa, read that again. And stirring up her womanish thoughts with a manly stomach. With a man, so she ate it. She, yeah. she had them womanly thoughts, because mm -hmm. the scriptures say the, the woman is the weaker vessel. Kind. Right, but mm -hmm. she ate, hey, she, she ate it like a man, yo. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that, that's how, hey, that's how the elect woman gonna be, man. She took it. She going, they going to take it, man. Yep. Go ahead. I cannot tell you, Aksalaki, I cannot tell how you came into my womb, for I neither gave you the breath of nor life. Mm -hmm. That's a cut on you women today saying, I made you, I took you, no, you ain't make shit. Yep. All right. I cannot tell you, I cannot tell how you came into my womb, for I neither gave you breath nor life. Mm -hmm. Neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you. Mm -hmm. Man, that's now, so real quick, uh, can someone grab that before I uh, uh, form me in the belly? I knew thee. Oh, uh, Jeremiah 5. Grab that real quick. Because really, it's the Lord. When a woman gets pregnant, even, even when a man impregnates a woman, it's really ordained by the Lord. All right, read that real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse, uh, verse 4. I'm sorry, verse 4. Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Mm, and these brothers, we read two of them, that they was prophets. Go ahead. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Yep. So really, the Lord ordained these, these some of these brothers, a few of these brothers, to be prophets, man. If not all of them. If, yeah, if not all of them, man. All right. Go ahead, brother. It, it, get, it, get, it get good, man. Yep. All right. But doubtless, the creator of the world who formed the generation of man and found all, the beginning of all things will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again. Yep. Mm. Hey, because the, the Israelites, we're going to gain that everlasting life, man. That's right. Everlasting life to be, to be a God, lowercase g, mm. is only for the Israelites, man. It's not for everybody. These other nations, they're gonna have to die and come back, die and come back, regenerate. Mm -hmm. Brothers, we gonna be, we good. We gonna be powers, man. You ain't gonna have to go through that no more. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. All right. As ye now regard not your own selves for his law's sake. Mm -hmm. Now this, this look, hey, this right here, brothers, is, is what we're all gonna be faced with. Now Antiochus is thinking himself despised and suspecting it to be a reproachful speech, whilst the youngest was yet alive. The youngest, so this is the youngest brother right here. Mm. Did not only exhort him by words, but also assure him with oaths. Mm. And don't trust Esau. We know, but we know that this nigga's the devil because 
him and Jacob made an oath. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And what he tried to do, he tried to go back and get the birthright. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, that he, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So he see, you know, that's Esau, devil. That's Esau, devil. He bro. see the youngest one trying to get at the youngest one. Yep. Cause you know a younger a younger person gullible. is more more gullible. Yep. You know more susceptible. So he he in his in his brother's ear, man, trying to make a pact with him. Yeah. Look, man, just I don't want to do you like nigga, I did. I don't want to do you like you right. I did your brother. Just eat it, man. Hey, that's that's Esau. you the devil, bro. Hey, man. Nigga, you just killed my brothers, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's fucking Esau. Wrong with you, that's Esau speaking in those smoothly words, right. man. Yeah. That was uh. Grab it, Psalm hey, fifty-five. Psalm 55, uh, grab it. Psalm 55 and 21. Guys, hey, that's that's exactly what's happening right here. The words of his mouth be smoother than butter. Smoother than butter, boy. Hey, we call hello, your how about shine. We done shine, figured shine. these people out, man. Yeah, See, yeah. We don't even gotta know you no more. We don't gotta. We look at you. We, we, the, the scriptures are the discerner of the hearts yeah. and mind, sharper than any two-edged sword. Oh, yep. <laughs> Cutting asunder. Yeah, don't the gotta, soul and spirit, man. The, the scriptures don't gotta say the white man. Right. You know, we look at your characteristics. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is this, this is Esau to the team. And you fit the description of a devil. This Perfectly. nigga broke over 500 treaties with God, bro. Yep. 500 treaties, brother. You got that up? Yep. Con. This is Psalms 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. But war mm. was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sword. So this nigga talking smooth right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Talking smooth to the young man. All right, I'm gonna read on. Okay, you got some more on that, that was it. Uh, no, that's it. Uh, and, and, and just to add, you know what I'm saying? Like the brother said, you know, Esau, you know, speaking with his smooth words to that, you know, that youngin' man. Huh. All right, the scripture says, never trust thy enemy, for like his, his uh, for lack of iron, uh, wrestle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's his wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. So, say, at the last, he tried to clear his wickedness. Yeah. Huh. So it's like Esau, man, Esau. Man, he saw the damn devil, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the brother said, he couldn't get the other brothers. He gonna try to get the little younger brother, man. All right. All right, and that's just the devil that that that's amongst us today, man. Mm -hmm. All right. You know. Go ahead. And who know who for who knows? You brothers out there, you brothers out there that's reading this, that could have been you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. hey, can I get that song real quick? Go ahead, brother. This is Psalms 126 and one. When Yahweh turned again the captivity of Zion, mm -hmm. we were like that. We were like them that dream. Mm -hmm. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was singing. Then said they among the heathen, Yahweh have done great things for them. Yahweh have done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Yahweh, as the streams in the south. Yep. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Mm -hmm. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his she's with him. Mm. Yep. Mm. So hey, the Lord is gonna fight for his elect, man. Nice. The ones that you know sow tears, which that's what we showing. We sowing tears and mourning. We're gonna reap everlasting life, man. Yep. Nice. Woo. The scripture goes into saying that you know that the Lord sees uh, the ones that sigh and cry, man. Yep. Scripture says the know? Lord has care for his elect. Care, ha care for his elect. That's what the Lord cares about. The Lord cares about his elect. Yep. His favorite spirit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the favorite spirit and the favorite people. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And even within that favor, he has a favorite. Go, yes, yeah. go to show you how <laughs> precise the Lord is. The Lord is super <laughs> precise with it, man. Yeah, I the Lord the ultimate Jake, man. Call all your how about you now? Shah. I'm going to start from 24 again. Go ahead, read the book in uh, verse so these brothers and sisters know where they uh, Second Maccabees chapter 7 and verse 24. Now Antiochus is thanking himself despised and suspecting it to be a reproachful speech while the youngest was uh, yet alive. Did not only exhort him by words, but also assure him with oaths that he would make him both a rich and happy man. Mm. So this nigga bribing him, bro. Like, hey, man, if you eat it, man, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make you rich. I'm gonna make you happy. You're gonna have everything. You know, it's spiritual, bro. Like there is nothing new under the sun, bro. Yep. He saw do that today. Yep. Hey, man, I'm gonna need you to infiltrate this camp. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen. Right. If you go be an agent, I'll give you I a can million. Break you off. I'll give you, you know a million saying? dollars. Infiltrate them. Give us the info they talking about. Does this nigga Esau really think we be having some secret councils at home? Hey, for real. And even uh, Satan did that to Yahweh Shah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying yeah. to give him the whole kingdom. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Nah, man. Ain't and Satan did the Judas, though. He did it to Judas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shit crazy, bro. Shit crazy, man. Esau, hey, Esau, a devil, man. That's right. The Lord created this man to be the viler, devil. man, than the earth, man. Mm. To, to, to be man. the devil, man. Yep. The best way to put it. Somebody got to be the devil. Hey, the devil, that word devil goes to being a deceiver, man. Yep. And that's what he's doing. That's what uh, Antiochus yeah, is doing, man. Several, yep. 
And that's how you know the Bible is accurate because they teach you about Antiochus and Alexander the Greek in school, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. When you in history class, they, they, they'll do a little lesson on Alexander the yep. Greek. That's why I first yeah, learned yeah. about Alexander so, the yeah, Greek. That's where right. I first studies, learned about it. So the Bible is real, man. Yeah, yep. That shows niggas, you. you. That shows you. You people just don't want to be judged according to the standard of the scriptures. But guess what? Hey, man, like Isaiah say, the law shall go forth out of Zion, man. Mm. Yep. It's already prophesied. You lost. That's All right. right. You lost, man. All right. That he will make him both a rich and happy man. Mm. If he will turn from the laws of his fathers. And that also he will take him for his friend and trust him with affairs. Damn. Never trust thy enemy. Never trust, uh, thy enemy. Never trust thy enemy. See the scriptures. And that's what King David said. The, uh, the priest is like a light. Like a lamp unto my feet. Mm -hmm. You know, if we live. We, we don't just read it. We actually live according to. We actually live. The word I'm looking for. For lack of better words. All right. We go about our day-to-day -day life using precepts, basically, man. Yeah. Never trust our enemy. We can't trust Esau. Applying it to our life. But when the young man would in no case hearken unto him, the king called his mother and exhorted her that she would counsel the young man to save his life. So he came like, hey, man, tell your son to do this. All right? And when he had exhorted her with many words, she promised him that she would counsel her son. Mm. But she bowing her shirt toward him, laughing the, the <laughs> cruel tyrant to scorn. So she laughing at this dumb ass like, Word. he thinking she, he think she finna tell him to take... You know the deal, all right? She Spake, she really finessing she him really right now. Jake and finessing. Jake finessing him right now. Spake she her. he was like she was like all right all right all right. Cause he probably had him separated and shit. Yeah 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 all right. And then she he just she just started laughing at this motherfucker man. Spake her country language on this manner. Oh my son, have pity upon me. Wait that, read that again. But she bowing herself toward him, laughing the cruel tyrant to scorn, speaking her country language. Speaking her Hebrew. country language. Spake right. Hebrew. Go ahead. On this manner, oh my son, have pity upon me that bear thee nine months in the, my womb mm. and gave thee such three years and nourished thee and brought thee up until this age and endured the troubles of education. I beseech thee, my son. Hey, and what did it say? Endure the troubles of education. Mm. With much knowledge is much sorrow. Yep. Mm. Go ahead. Woo! I beseech thee, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth and all that is therein and consider that Yahweh made, made them of things that were not and so was mankind made likewise. So she like, hey, the things that were seen were made by the things not seen. Yeah, bro, hey. this woman had a heavy spirit on her, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, because what? a woman, a woman would have been like, nah, my baby, just eat it, just eat it. I, I've never met a woman like I that. I never, man. hey, I never met a woman like this either. I would never, I've never met a woman. But guess what? She back on earth. Kind. She back on earth never today, know man. Who this woman was. Probably was Sarah or something, yeah. man. Mm. Sarah, probably. A faithful woman. Faithful woman, man. Fear wow. not this tormentor. But being worthy of thy brethren, take thy death that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. Mm. So like she that, back man. today, man. Back. Hey, you see, women, we got love for y'all. For, <laughs> for, for, for the ones of y'all that's walking up rightly, man, we got love for y'all, man. Uh. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We, hey, we, we, we give, what is it? Uh, uh, we give credit where it's due. Credit due, yep. We give credit where credit's due. Majority of women out here ain't doing that, man. Yep. But if Shit. you are, if you sisters are doing that and you walking... To your best of, of your ability, hey, all praises, man. May mm. you be one of the elect. Right. May you be one of the elect ladies, man. Fear not this tormentor, but being worthy of thy brethren, take thy death that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. Mm. While she was yet speaking these words, the young man said, Whom wait ye for? I will not obey the king's commandment, mm. but I will obey the commandment of the law that was given unto our fathers by mm. Moses. Ooh. Fuck you devils, man. That's hey, right. man, that's... That's a that's a heavy spirit, man. A young man. Man, that's a heavy spirit, man. That's the difference between Jake growing up back then compared to now, now. man. Yeah. Soft ass Jake would have took that pork. Damn, man. Shit, I eat bacon anyway. Dumbass. Damn, man. They, they that's, eat that shit with, 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 with gladness. Yeah, with gladness. Hey, hey look, uh, look at these. Jerem, uh, Jeremiah, the uh, the the the, uh, the witness of their countenance. Their countenance does witness against them, mm -hmm. and they declare their sin as Sodom, and they hide it not, bro. Mm -hmm. These niggas declare their sins. I love pork. That's my favorite meat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that back shit, nasty, that shit nasty as fuck. You getting all parasites in you. Yeah. Man, that hey, you had that one rapper that, that came out and he just straight said, yeah, I let Birdman, Birdman did his thing. Pop, yeah, he oh, popped yeah, me, he yeah, popped yeah. me. What the fuck? For the deal. He, he, I, uh, so these niggas is finished, man. Finished. These niggas is finished, man. Done. And that's the, bro, that's the difference between uh, back then and now, man. Like, you know, we, we had our lowest, lowest, lowest point, man. You know what I'm saying? Back then, you had even to the youngest, youngest man that just that stuck to the cold, man. Yeah, yeah. It stuck to the cold, man. That's a that's a beautiful relationship Crazy, with the Lord, man. man. The Lord is the Lord. That's hey, a beautiful that relationship. Was, that was thousands Lord, of years man. ago. The Lord, hey man, the Lord, hey, they still being 
we still exhorting those brothers, yeah. you know, today. in that national today. today. You know God. what I'm saying? Today, man. And, they, 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 and they're going to be exhorted beautiful. in the kingdom. They're going to be exhorted in the kingdom. That's going to be gonna, gonna read. Words. We're going to read about this in the kingdom, and you're going to see the seven brothers, and you're going to see the woman. Yep. Mm. All right, man. So, hey, call all your hell about shot. All right? That's it? Is that it? Not some go more, ahead. Man. Go ahead. And thou that has been the altar of all mischief against the Hebrews shall not mm. escape the hands of Yahweh. Mm. For we suffer because of our sins. Mm. And though the living Lord be angry with us a little, while for our chastening and correction, yes, shall he be at one again with his servants. You see that, man? So we, the reason we suffer, the reason we got to go through what's about to happen is because of our sins. Now, really, Jacob's trouble is for the two-thirds. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that's really going to be catching hell. We going to catch hell, though. Oh, you can't just say you ain't going gonna, to. We're going to be in, 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 in scared straits, man. Skin of our teeth. Like yeah. this brother's testimony, yep, man. Yep, Delivered yep. from death. Huh. All right? That's the situation we all going to come into, man. Yep. And that testimony was uh, 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 moving to the nation, man. It's powerful. All right. So, be, and the reason being is because we all gonna have to go through it, man. Huh. People living in a fairy tale world right now, man. They mm -hmm. think it's all peaches and cream, love, 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 love. You're gonna see that you're living in a matrix, man. A yep. fantasy. A man. fantasy world. Yep. And you know who's gonna bring it down? It's gonna be the Lord, man. The Lord gonna bring it all down, man. That's right. But thou, O godless man, and all of thy, and all of the other. Most wicked be not lifted up without a cause, mm. nor puffed up with uh, uncertain hopes. Mm. Lifting up thy hand against the servants of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Mm. For thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of the Almighty Power, Damn. who seeth all things. Seeth all Ooh. things. The Lord sees everything, man. Oh His eyes are everywhere, man. The angels, the angels watching us right now, Proverbs brother. Proverbs 15 and 3. The, 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 angels, the, the angels up here right now in chariots, man, disguised right. in these clouds right now as we speak. Around us, camp with around us, man. Yep. When two or three are gathered in my in name, I am right in the midst of you, man. Come on, man. Proverbs 15 to 3. Yep, Proverbs 15 to 3, man. We living in beautiful times, man. Yeah, man. Very, Call very beautiful times, shot. man. All right? I got a... Uh, uh, read read a dog. <laughs> Fucking done done. with choking a dog, man. <laughs> read it real quick. Yeah, Proverbs 15 and 3? No, 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 hold on. Read that Read that back. That, that last part. Proverbs 34? Let me see. But that was last man, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But thou, O godless man, and all, and of all other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, mm. nor puffed up with uncertain hopes, lifting up thy hand against the servants of Yahweh. Lifting up thy hands against the servants of Yahweh. Now, that's when Esau really gonna fuck up. Yep. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, mm -hmm. I will lift the standard Stand up mm -hmm. against them, man. Mm -hmm. Lord, what is that standard when you go into the Hebrew? It means to take flight, to fly away, to disappear. Mm. So the Lord is going to give his, when, 